One of the most common life-threatening conditions in hospitalized patients is hypotension or low blood pressure. The University of Kansas Health System has invested in cutting-edge technologies to care for hypotensive patients. This past year, physicians and nurses from KU created a simulation in the Zamorowski Institute for Experiential Learning to allow the team from the Cardiac Intensive Care Unit to practice integrating one of these novel devices, the NICOM, in the care of critically ill patients. The hypotension simulations that we've been doing are worthwhile uh, exercises because hypotension or low blood pressure is such a common problem. It's faced in every unit in the hospital and there are a number of different causes. And every specialty sees patients with hypotension. The NICOM device is a non-invasive cardiac output monitor. Um, it consists of four electrodes. Two are placed on the upper torso and two um, on the abdomen. That sends signal to the heart. It assesses stroke volume, so the amount of blood going in and out of the aorta. Just in half of an afternoon, working with the intensive care nurses, the residents or the cardiology fellows, we've seen them become more comfortable with this idea of assessing how well a patient is likely to respond to fluids they become more comfortable with using this new piece of equipment. And also we've seen them grow as a team of doctors and nurses in communicating with each other and with the patient to achieve a good outcome. It's good to have this kind of practice because it really mimics the real life patients that we have. And at the same time, it's an opportunity to learn where your weaknesses are, along with being able to voice to the team that, hey, this is what I'm thinking and uh, what do you guys think? It prepares you for the real thing. Looking at the numbers, interacting with the patient, interacting with the nurses. The experience is just as uh, real as dealing with a real patient. It's good to know how things flow, the pieces of equipment that you'll need, how to run them, so that when you do have to perform it on an actual patient, it'll be a lot smoother. I feel like I'm always playing defense in that we teach things um, because something has happened. So to me, this is a way to be proactive about education before there's a problem. 